I feel like we've really done some nice uh, fine home building with this house here, Ms. Gretchen. I think so too. <laughs> it's turning out really great. Yeah, guys, welcome to another episode of Building a Better South here in Norton Commons. Yeah, and happy Derby Day. Yeah, I hope you all pick, pick, a, winner. pick a winner today. <laughs> Horses, that is. Yeah, we've picked a winner already with this house. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, lucky homeowners yes. are going to be enjoying this new bathroom. Yes. So. We are in the Norton Commons Welcome Home Show House that opens May 18th, so two weeks from today. Um, it'll run for two weeks on Wednesdays and Fridays and then Saturdays, Sundays right. through June 2nd. So come out, spend the day with us and uh, tell us about this bathroom. Yeah, so we're in the master bathroom here, which has really turned out beautifully. I'm so happy with the way it's turned out and the finishes and everything's coming together. And this was Jason's brainchild to have this uh, wet room, <laughs> which we can step inside yeah. and show you. So what entails a wet room, you might ask? Well, that means that your tub is sitting inside of your shower. Yeah. So, so dual you can purpose. Wash the kids, the dogs, everybody. And if they splash, yes. you got a built-in drain in the floor. So a flashback to when we, we waterproof this whole floor, walls, everything. So yes. you can wet and wild, do whatever you want <laughs> here, and uh, no worries about leaking. Yeah, and I love I love the tub we chose. I think it's a little bit modern and clean. We of course had the uh, brass fixtures here, which are DXB in the brass, which I love. And yeah, it's kind of that. It looks like an unlacquered brass. But yes, it's, it's but it gorgeous. but it'll maintain its finish, which is nice. Yeah. Do you want me to turn the shot the rain head on? Here? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> so for you and your friends who want a shower, no, I'm just teasing. We've got a shower head over there. Right. And then a shower head behind me and then a rain head in the middle. So you ought to be nice and clean by the time you get <laughs> no out excuses. of this wet no room. Excuses. So and I love all the tile work because when we first started looking at this tile, it was quite it makes quite the statement. But yeah. Uh, it's just really cool. Yeah, Robin and I from Louisville Tile, we had a great time picking this out and coming up with this. Again, on the floor, we've got a porcelain tile that I think emulates marble. This is actually a porcelain tile, which I mean, really looks like marble to me. Yeah. It, it looks like just a million bucks. Without the maintenance of the marble. Right. And then I remember the guys at Premier Flooring uh, deliberately hand laying all these tiles and making those miters in the corners and Gosh, it, it turned just, out really great. Yeah, and for a house, this house is about 24, 2500 square feet. And to have a master this luxurious, I yeah. think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it definitely feels like a spa in here. Yeah. Um, and even down to the wall color, which I use, which is Sea Salt by Sherman Williams. It's really my go to, you know, pale kind of aqua that can be bluish but can be greenish and it, it's just yeah. a great color we'll show off the vans let's close these doors so they can see what this beauty looks like yeah it's nice and then talk about your cool vanities you came up with that's a right. neat little door style yeah so this we decided to just do a stained wood which i love i think it brings some warmth into this space instead of a painted vanity we've got the uh, brass handles which ties it all in um, just a really simple clean white quartz countertop we opted for the more rectangular shape that's kind of our go-to uh, sink we've got again the the dxc faucets we've got some pretty circular mirrors that are coming in so yeah. it's looking really great guys so, guys make sure you want to come check out the master bath but then also when you're in the master We've got a really cool bed from our house. Yes. Talk to me about that yeah. bed. Yeah, because remember, uh, most of the furniture for this home, um, we've partnered with our house furniture, and so it will be furnished from some of their like beautiful pieces. like a cane pieces. that like wraps around. Yes, it. so it's a beautiful cane textured bed. King, king it's size? king size, because you can fit a nice king size bed in here with two lovely bedside tables, some lamps. So I think it's going to be really a beautiful space. Yeah. And so once you've gotten nice and clean, <laughs> well rested, you know, you're going to come out and you have your own private balcony right. off, the, uh, off the bedroom. Yes. I think that's one of the things I love about this bedroom setup and just having the dual porch. So you have your great front porch on the first floor. You have a beautiful outdoor porch area off the back, but 
The master suite has its own private porch, which is so nice. And I'm glad we were able to use the Edgewood Reno as a trial ground for the front porch railing yes. there. And so we carried over that really intricate pattern that's going to right. go on here. And then Zach was diligent, who is our lead guy who's been running the project here. He's got these cool columns that he's hand built. And then we've actually routered a little chamfer detail into those columns. And we're sitting on a nice waterproof uh, decking that... We've yeah. got a AZEC, I guess it's Timber Tech now, system. It's called a sleeper system. So no um, no nails or grooves or anything like that. So That's once so you're nice. up there, yeah, it's gonna be pretty pretty yeah. sharp. So yeah. maybe a sleeping bed up there for Ooh. someone. That would be perfect for an afternoon. Nice. Got a yeah. nice look at the park and yeah. green space. And uh, all right, before we wrap, I wanna show off your cool paint technique that we did in the boys' bedroom. Oh yeah, let, let me show you that. Cause it's a great way to add interest into a bedroom by just using paint, yeah. two, two different colors. And if you really wanna get your painter happy <laughs> with you, you do this technique. So we yes. made the trim guys happy, right? Cause they didn't have right. to add any additional trim. And, and the flooring, the tile guys. I, I'm always pushing the envelope <laughs> with the tile detail. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we like to, you know, it is a show house, so we want to show new and different yeah, ideas it, as people that are coming through. So let's show you this room. I really love the way it turned out. So this is actually, I guess we will be staging it as a, a little boy's room. Um, so what we did here is we two-toned the wall. So, I mean, literally, you'll have to get the detail. The painters, you know, they used painters tape and got this crisp clean line which it looks like there's a trim in between but there's not so we have pure white up here and we have hail navy they took it all the way down to the base trim we opted for the navy plugs and i think it, it's turned out really awesome so I, i'm anxious to hear what you guys think about this space well, and we we've, we've got a beautiful uh, fan which jason loves jason you want to come in and talk about the fan <laughs> yeah uh... <laughs> You know, normally I don't get excited about a fan <laughs> with a light kit because it's kind of like faux pas. I mean, you know, yeah. it's, it's always budget friendly to have a fan and a light. So you well, and a to... lot of people like a fan in a bedroom. It's just, you know, it's kids like it because they get hot at night or just yeah. the sound. It helps them sleep better. So it's practical. I know. And when that went up, I'm like, oh. That's really cool. It's yeah. sleek and it's kind of got that glow, which yeah. you know, everybody likes the, the modern globe. Yeah, and, and, and it's it's got gold on it. <laughs> just, just that right hint of brass is uh, is perfect. It ties in with um, we didn't touch on. We've got kind of we modernized these handle sets just a little bit, but Schleg actually um, worked with us to come up with this design, and the finishes match. You know, there yeah. with that. I mean, it just all ties you, you together. All yeah. <laughs> Speaking of globes, next week on the episode, we've got this massive globe down in that flex room. That yeah, light fixture. I can't wait to show you guys along with a couple other details. So yeah, we better wrap it up because the guys need to get back to work. <laughs> I know we got to get to the track, get our get our wagers yeah. back. Yeah, two dollar, uh, two dollar, no holler, cost yeah, the board. Two dollars to show. <laughs> We're not big betters. <laughs> All right. So anyway, guys, the Welcome Home Tour in Norton Commons in Louisville, Kentucky, May 18th through June 2nd, mm -hmm. uh, furnished by our Gretchen and Our House, house Furniture, furniture. and mm -hmm. she'll have some other treats and treasures for you guys. So come check us out. You can always follow Gretchen on Instagram. Yeah. You can find me under Gretchen Black. And you can find me, Jason Black, with Artisan Signature Homes, and together we're building, building a, a better, better South. South.